one of the um, images in the in the film that uh, I thought was very striking, and I guess it's you know one of the main images for the um, for your posters and everything is is the four Kenyan boys drinking out of the empty bottle of water. Right. And um, I was I was wondering, uh, you know, sort of what was the situation when when you saw that and you know you, you spend a lot of you know a, a good amount of time on that shot and and I mean, which I think is great. Um, I was wondering what that image spoke to you, like why it's become the central image of it and, and what it was like shooting it. Well, you know, I think I was very, very impressed in the in the bad way by Kibera. It was shot in Kibera. Kibera is the biggest slum in East Africa. It's in the suburb of Nairobi. And number one, it's, so it's in Kenya. And, and Kenya, number one, is a fairly rich country by African standards. Number two, Nairobi is a fairly rich city by you know by all african standards and you still find this gigantic slum where you have i would say probably a million people living in the equivalent of 10 city block of los angeles or new york city so they are piled on top of each other as you saw in the film they live you know in rooms which are 10 feet by 10 feet with entire family even several families sometimes they sleep on the floor next next to each other and in these rooms they have of course no electricity some do, uh, but in general, they have no electricity, no water, no sanitation. So when they want to go to the toilet, they use that they call flying toilets. Flying toilets are the the traditional plastic grocery bag that we use to that are given to us, you know, in the supermarket to put our grocery, and they use that because that's the only thing they have. And so when they are done with that, they throw it in the street on the pile of these flying toilets. And uh, so in every probably ten blocks of Kibera, a block, it's not really a block, it's like, you know, whatever, in, in every in every 10th street or whatever, you have a mountain of plastic bag with human excrements in it, you know, and you can imagine what it does for health, you know, so the, the pessimistic people think that, uh, I don't know if they are, maybe they are right, uh, that 70% of the population is HIV positive, for example, not that it's linked to necessarily to flying toilets, but it's, you know, just tell you the level of health there. And, and so this shot was for me a little bit the summary of all that is that these children who have nothing more or less play in garbage because that's what it is and when they find a bottle which has uh, an empty plastic bottle which has maybe a little bit of liquid still in it they'll try to drink it because that's all they have you know and and you see these children they were you know i put children all over the film not just this scene but all over the film because at the end of the day they are the, the innocent victim of the of our game you know and when you see these children starving and suffering like that and you know it's why you know, I, I always thought when I started to think about how to make the film and what style I should give to the film, I forced myself to not do any kind of cinema in terms of these very dramatic images because I thought it's so strong that it was much more interesting to have these people talk and have these images talk by themselves than me making any kind of effects or this or that. The only effect that I allowed myself is at the end when I slowed down, you know, I have a slow motion on this little kid who is begging in the street of Cochabamba and after I have a freeze frame on it because I wanted people to remember him because I can tell you I shot every of these images and I edited this movie for six months so I know them by heart. But the only one which really moves me is this one, is the, the, the two little kids at the end, one who is carrying this huge bag of recycled can who is twice his size at least, and, and, and mainly the, the other one who is begging at every street, in, at every car which is driving by in the street. And of course nobody is giving him anything apart from that, but I always wonder what are these kids are thinking when you know, you're a kid, you want to play with your friend and have a good time, right? When these kids have to beg all day long for probably being able to bring, I don't know, I would estimate 30 cents, maybe at the end of the day to their family. So of course it doesn't even solve anything, but that's what they have to do every day from morning to night is to beg in the street or to, you know, uh, or to sell whatever they have to sell, you know, even um, Jaime Armorin for the Movimento Cemetery explained that most of these kids have not most. A lot of these kids have to go to prostitution and and sell trinkets to just try to make to help their family to survive. And I think you know the worst part for me was not only to see that, but to feel that I was responsible for that. Not me as a person necessarily, but you know that we were responsible for that. And and it's why I would like to create this awareness in the north to feel that you know because 
it's very hard to see people suffering. So of course we have that in on television all the time. What I want to what I want to try to or what I want to explain is is that we are responsible for this suffering. You know, because of the system we created, you know, and Milan Kutari, you know, the UN reporter in the film, you know, again is very traditional, conservative, not conservative, I can say conservative, but middle of the road person. And he says the system we created leads to the sacrifice of some people. And I don't think we realize that. I don't think, you know, we always think, oh, you know, they, people die because they were born at the right place, at, at the wrong place at the wrong time. And women, they have too many children anyway. So, you know, I heard that so many times. And you say, look, they die, they suffer and they die because of us. And that's the most important that we should remember. And it's why I put all these children more or less in the film, because I want people to look at them and realize that they are in this situation because of the system we created.